What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie. Today, I'm bringing you this golden brownie look I've been rocking lately, perfect for the holidays. This video is in partnership with Sephora for their Lux at Sephora campaign. So today, I'm gonna be integrating some of their more prestige products into this routine. There are definitely some things I will spend more money on, especially when it comes to my skin or fragrance, and I've been using some of these products for a minute, so I'm stoked to share them with you. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get into it. Starting off with a freshly cleaned face, it's time to moisturize. Today I'm using Tatcha's The Water Cream. Not only is the packaging impeccable, but it contains ingredients such as Japanese wild rose to tighten pores and refine skin texture, and Japanese leopard lily to control excess oil, which I always need. I am priming my face with YSL's Touche Clock Blur Primer. This is an illuminating primer that blurs imperfections and is such a silky and luxurious primer. Your skin ends up feeling super soft, smooth, and not greasy at all. I think in general, whenever I use a YSL product, I feel a little sexier, so you know we are off to a good start. So now my skin is ready for my face makeup. Before we do that though, I am priming my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This prevents my eyelids from getting super oily and helps with the longevity of eye makeup. The foundation I've been using is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I do one pump and I typically don't end up using all of it at all. I apply a super light layer with my dampened beauty blender. Even though I apply so little, this really helps all the other makeup I use sit well on my skin. I conceal with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I apply some under my eyes, my nose, chin, blemishes, and a teeny bit on my forehead. I don't really apply too much liquid stuff there because I have bangs. After that, I blend away with my beauty blender. I've talked about this concealer so much, it just melts seamlessly into my skin and holds up so well over time. It's baking time. Today, I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. I apply this under my eyes to set that concealer on my nose, forehead to really prevent oils coming through to my bangs, my chin, pretty much all over my face. This sets all the liquid stuff and makes my makeup last for way long. Let's dive right into the eyes. I'm using the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Nude Dip. This quad has four finishes, sheer sparkle, satin, shimmer, and matte. The color payoff for these are beautiful. I've really been playing around with the two upper colors a lot, and today we're gonna be using the champagne color on the eyes and the face. With a regular eyeshadow brush, I'm just sweeping that all over the lid. I've tried this out wet as well, and it just looks like a gloss of color. It's amazing, but today, I'm just gonna go with a plain old dry brush because I feel like it's very intense enough as it is. I'm not even gonna use a fluffy brush because it blends very easily. I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner for my cat eye. This has really just become my holy grail eyeliner. It's so easy to use and the perfect amount of product comes out every single time. To add some holiday cheer to this makeup, I am applying some of Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Midnight Cowboy under the lash line. Some extra sparkle is perfect for any holiday look. And this is just a really easy way to add an interesting element without too much effort, which I am very much into. I just apply it under the lash line and use my pinky to spread it out a little bit. Before going any further, I went ahead and applied my eyebrows using my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brow Duo. Can't go wrong with these two. And then at this point, I just wiped off the bake because I don't like keeping it on for too long. I find that it can stick to patchy places if you just let it sit on there. Back to the eyes, I'm applying some of Marc Jacobs Highlighter in Blacker to the upper waterline. This stuff just stays on so well. And I know that looks really creepy, but it helps make the lash line look really thick and blend in with the liquid liner. On the lower lash line, I'm applying Marc Jacobs Highliner in Sunset, which is a nice golden shimmer. Just really ties in with the Urban Decay Sparkles, and it also stays put until you take it off. After that, it's time for mascara. As always, I'm using a primer, which is the Lancome Seals Booster XL. The mascara I am using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and even the non-waterproof version of this is awesome. Once those are applied, the eyes are done. Finishing up the face, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. I like doing multiple thin layers of products. This may be an unnecessary step here, but I just feel like this makes sure that everything is really evened out. The bronzer I've been using is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. This blends so well. I try to be light-handed with bronzer because I can really overdo it sometimes, and this is just 
really the perfect formula for me. I also love the finish of this bronzer. It has a slight illumination to it, so it just makes your skin look very healthy. For blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. <laughs> this is a terracotta kind of color, and it really matches very seamlessly with the bronzer, and I also feel like this color is a very universally beautiful color. I'm going back to the Tom Ford Quad for my highlight, and that champagne color is perfect as a highlighter. I love it when a product is multifunctional, especially when it's a luxe product. I put that on my cheekbones, under my brow bone, and my cupid's bow as well. The final step to this look is the lips, and I have three Giorgio Armani Beauty Lip Maestros to choose from. We have a classic red, a pink nude, and a warm brown. Now typically I would go straight for the red, but I was really feeling that brown color, so that's what I went with. The texture of this product is so nice. It's very soft. I think that's the best way to describe it. Super velvety, not sticky at all, and very comfortable to wear. I've worn this multiple times now, and it's never dried out my lips. And with the lips done, the makeup is complete. I think this is definitely an attainable look, even for a makeup newbie. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I have one more thing to show you. If you have been watching me for a minute, you know I am a Jo Malone fanatic, and this is my new favorite scent. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. It's a woodsy, yet like aquatic, fresh scent. If you're looking to wear a sexier scent for the winter, but you're not into like musky amber scents, I would definitely recommend this one. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. As always, all the links to everything are in the description box down below, and thank you so much again to Sephora for collaborating with me in this video. If you haven't already, please please make sure to subscribe below. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.